Okay, so this is take four of the the complete uh, workshop floor on my side. So behind the airline, you'll see we've got my MIG welder facing down there, my zombie apocalypse box, which is actually a two-part build video build video uh, up on my channel. There is behind behind there is a, an old workbench which I probably built about three or so years ago and it hasn't really been utilized. Then if we come up here there's a bunch of wall space which obviously I haven't put anything on. Uh, an old whipper snipper which is one of the straight shaft versions which is actually fairly decent. Up here as well you can see a bunch of tubs and storage containers which most of them are empty. Uh, an old, well not so old but an old to me ladder which I don't really use. Then over here is my scooter which I haven't ridden in probably five years. Uh, the air filter foam disintegrated, uh, the belt which is rubber has broken, uh, all simple fixes but it's just a matter of time and when I choose to get around to uh, doing that. Uh, it's got a custom exhaust that I fabricated ages ago, sounds actually pretty good. Then if we step into the back corner you'll see I've got uh, my Makita drop saw which I bought brand new which I've still got clearly um, pretty much used it constantly and it still works great uh, here's that wall you can see I've only utilized one tub and then if we pan over here we have all my storage space for nuts bolts washers fasteners just little odd bits and pieces uh, all spare tires and some just air leads and jumper cables then if we come across here there is the toolbox which is a little bit of a mess uh, all the drawers which I'm probably not going to go through on this video and then here's the second toolbox with the homemade socket sorter or organizer so that's actually got a few videos on my channel as well and then there's also storage space down there with brand new tools which I haven't touched and then I should say up here is uh, assortments of paints and paint brushes and engine parts and sandpaper and bike parts and my little organizer that I built and my metal cutting bandsaw which is probably the most used thing besides the miter saw I end up uh, cleaning this thing up today and I did have some trouble with it uh, cutting straight I changed the blade and then I changed all the bearings out to realize they weren't the right bearings so I had to put the original bearings back in so that was a bit of a pain but it's uh, cutting down to a T, which I will show you guys. Uh, up here, you can see there's my work light for uh, sliding underneath cars and bonnets and whatever else. My grinder setup. Uh, my little rollable work light, which uh, came in handy for what I needed to use it for my air compressor which I bought about eight years ago still works like a champ uh, my homemade uh, strip sander uh, still use it 100% works fine and my my tool board which once I pretty much got everything situated I never touched or changed anything besides the uh, flashlight or work light holder which is in the center uh, my little shop stool which I found, uh, stainless little bench bit, 
my cheap drill press, which has been one of the, the best purchases ever. Homemade disc sander. Um, videos are on my channel as well. Uh, that was here. This was a recent uh, add-on. It's just got a bunch of stuff on there. And then down here underneath this large workbench is just a bunch of random stuff. Uh, Eskies, my old disc sander. Two industrial work lights. This here has a bunch of uh, just stock and uh, fasteners and nuts and bolts in it. Then if we come up over here, there's my router jig as well. Um, there is some clamp storage. Uh, tins and tins of spray paints and stuff like that. Then the main workbench, which has been getting a workout lately, is uh, covered with all sorts of stuff. Um, this here was a latest edition, which is how to organise stuff. It's got uh, just everything you can think of. And here is the, the next one I've been working on. You can see that there. So that would be the garage tour. But I've noticed that I've left out the, uh, the clamp rack. Uh, it gets utilised when I need it to... Uh, you know, when I need to uh, grab a clamp and clamp something up. So that would be the entire side of uh, my side here. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to comment, like and subscribe and tell me what you guys thought of it. Thanks for watching.